Hi, Keith Young here. Uh, about a year ago I signed up to a volunteer organisation called Enable. They print um, 3D uh, prints of uh, prosthetic hands for children and I thought this was a great cause and because I was a whiz with a 3D printer I naturally thought this would be a great thing to get involved with. Now. I've only just completed my first hand, uh, it's taken a while for a, a request to come through and I'd just like to make this video to show you, here's the uh, hand here, it, it's uh, based on an online design called the Phoenix, uh, this one's a sort of a combination of uh, the Unlimited uh, or, and uh, V2 models, as you can see this one's mi missing a thumb because the recipient, recipient has an a working thumb so it's just got the four fingers uh, but I'd just like to point out some uh, features of this uh, particular hand it's uh, each finger consists of uh, two pieces I'll just sort of bend those like that uh, the hand has f uh, four lines of uh, spectra fishing line coming to this little box here when you uh, uh, bend your wrist, the fingers close. It's a very clever design. Uh, in here there's a little mixer called a uh, whipple tree which means that when the fingers uh, don't all move together the whipple tree will uh, move, if you can see that in the video, when the fingers are So each finger creates an even amount of tension. It's a very clever design. The gauntlet section here is what they call thermo molded. Uh, I've, I've got a video of me thermo molding this particular piece. Uh, and what you do is you dunk the piece in hot water and then uh, mold it over a form. This is the form here. And. Uh, it makes for a stronger uh, gauntlet which is also lighter so that's a very clever innovation there um, inside the hand you'll see I put some medical grade 3.2 millimeter foam and also on the top of the gauntlet I have these straps uh, at home and I've just used them I've got some uh, softer straps on the way that are hopefully elastic. Um, when I the, the print itself is actually quite good. I'll just hold that up to the camera. You can see there was no uh, the the tuning of the print itself was actually quite high. I have had little or no artifacts to actually cut off or file or what have you. The finish was very good. I used a gold Hobby King PLA, which I had well and truly dialed in so the printer printed that. The printer I use is a very highly modified Black Widow uh, which has a very large bed on it. It's uh, 400 by 250 mil uh, wide Oh, and actually has a 290 mil build height as well so it's one of the larger printers on the market. Um, I'll just um, just show you the action here. You can see the fingers move quite well. They have little rubber bands in the joints. They're rubber bands. Um, they're dental rubber actually. Uh, we initially put some loom bands in it but they didn't work very well but because the dental ones are a much higher grade they all uh, create the same amount of tension which means that the fingers all move together. If I just put that finger there you'll see that the other fingers move there and that the whipple tree again moves in the box here. Let's try and get all that in the camera. Anyway, anyway I'm very happy with the, uh, the finish of the hand. It's worked out quite well. Uh, there were no issues assembling. All the pieces popped together quite well. Um, it's, a, it's a, a neat little design. I hope to make a, another one, maybe another Phoenix design or one of the other enables. I, I can actually design things in 3D myself so 
maybe I can contribute in the future with my own design. But uh, I'm really happy to be involved with the Enable group and uh, that's the finished hand. See you later.